Welcome back to Movie Recap. Today I will tell you about part 3 of Terminator called Terminator Rise of the Machines. As usual, just leave a like on this video, sit back and relax. Several years after destroying Cyberdyne Systems Corporation John Connor has been living as a nomad, following the death of his mother Sarah to hide from Skynet, despite a war between humans and machines not happening in 1997, as foretold. Unable to locate John in the past, Skynet sends a new Terminator model, the TX, back in time to John's present in Los Angeles, to instead kill his future allies in the human resistance. The resistance sends a reprogrammed Terminator, AT-101 referred to as the Terminator, to protect the TX targets, including John and his future wife, Kate Brewster. After killing other targets, the TX locates the pair at an animal hospital, where Kate works. John becomes the TX primary target, but the Terminator helps him and Kate escape, taking them to a mausoleum where John's mother is supposedly interred. Inside her vault, they find a weapons cache left at Sarah's request in case Judgment Day was not averted, and the Terminators returned. They escape from an armed battle with the police, and fend off the pursuing TX. The Terminator reveals that John and Sarah's actions only delayed Judgment Day, and that Skynet's attack will occur that day. The Terminator intends to drive John and Kate to Mexico to escape the fallout when Skynet begins its nuclear attack at 6.18pm. John orders the Terminator to take Kate and him to see Kate's father, US Air Force Lieutenant General Robert Brewster. The Terminator refuses to do so, but agrees to Kate's identical request. It explains that it killed John in the future, but Kate reprogrammed it and sent it back in time, meaning that only she can give it orders. Meanwhile, General Brewster is supervising the development of Skynet for Cyber Research Systems, which also develops autonomous weapons. The Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff pressures him to activate Skynet to stop an anomalous computer virus from invading servers worldwide. Brewster is unaware that the virus is actually Skynet establishing control over them. John and Kate arrive too late to stop Skynet from being activated. The TX wounds General Brewster and activates the CRS weaponized machines, which kill the employees. Before dying, General Brewster gives Kate and John the location of what John believes is Skynet system core. The pair head for the tarmac to take General Brewster's single-engine plane to Crystal Peak, a facility built inside the Sierra Nevada. After a battle, the TX severely damages the Terminator, and then reprograms it to kill John. The TX pursues John and Kate through the CRS facility, but when a particle accelerator is activated, it magnetically binds the TX to the equipment. The still consciously aware Terminator struggles to control its outer functions. As it prepares to kill John, he urges the Terminator to choose between its conflicting programming. It deliberately forces a shutdown of its corrupted system, enabling the pair's escape. Shortly after they leave, the Terminator's system reboots. Meanwhile, the TX escapes the accelerator and resumes pursuit. After John and Kate reach Crystal Peak, the TX arrives by helicopter. Before it can attack, the Terminator arrives in a second helicopter and crashes into and crushes the TX. The TX pulls itself from the wreckage, losing its legs, and attempts to drag itself inside the bunker to follow the pair. The Terminator holds the bunker door open long enough for the pair to lock them inside, then uses its last hydrogen fuel cell to destroy both itself, and the TX John and Kate discover that Crystal Peak is not Skynet's core, but rather a nuclear fallout shelter and command facility for government and military officials. Having no core, Skynet has become a part of cyberspace after becoming self-aware. Judgment Day begins as Skynet fires nuclear missiles worldwide, starting a nuclear holocaust that kills billions. The pair begin receiving radio transmissions on the emergency equipment, John tentatively assumes command by answering radio calls, and they reluctantly accept their fate. Thanks for watching, you can check out my other movies here.